believe me, I understand that as a grower, you have a lot of demands on your time, especially as we get into the month of August. As the kids begin to have sporting practices and activities crop up on the calendar, we have county fairs wrapping up and we have state fair on the horizon, as well as just the general needs that you have to run your farm on a day-to-day -day basis, whether that's irrigation or that's scouting for insects and diseases, there's plenty to do on your plate on a daily basis. Couple that with this time of year and our inboxes and our email and our mailboxes all begin to fill up with those plot invitations. There's plenty of things on the calendar. So how does a grower go about prioritizing what's important and what they should attend? I'm Keith Byerly, Precision Ag Manager at Central Valley Ag, and this is your agronomy focus video that corresponds with my article on the CVA website. So, I have a rule when it comes to plots about how many I'm gonna attend on a year in and year out basis, and I think you should too. For me, I have a rule of four, but I wanna balance those four events in different ways. There's the local hybrid specific plots that I want to attend, there are learning events that I want to attend, and then there are the product driven plots that I want to attend. And I think it's important to find the right balance of those events for you. So let's talk a little bit about each one of those. The local hybrid event is important for a couple of reasons to you. Yes, they focus on the hybrids and how they're being grown in your area, but let's be honest, what's happened up to this point in the growing season is only part of the story and we still have a lot of chapters left to write in this book on how hybrids are gonna perform before you begin to go decide about them on your farm. The honest truth is, is that more of you make hybrid decisions based on your trusted advisor and what those seed companies tell you about the hybrids than any other reason. So if I say that, why do I say that those local hybrid plots are still important? It's because of the social aspect. It's still important to be socially connected to your community and have that social network that involves real people and face-to-face -face meetings and not just the online interaction. So from that standpoint, as well as the hybrid part, it's important to fit a couple of those hybrid specific plots into your calendar. The opposite end of the spectrum are those product driven plots. When I talk about those, I think about the events like 360 Yield Center or Precision Planning, where they have big farms in Illinois that focus on their specific products and the agronomics that go into developing those products that you're potentially thinking about investing for your farm. I think it's really important to make sure that you plan one of those in every year or every other year, grab your neighbors, Grab some of those friends that you have from the online social media and meet them out there and attend those events that interest you and make sure that those are part of that schedule of plots that you have on a year in and year out basis. But then finally, there's the learning plots like the ACS Innovation Series that's coming up here in the next couple of weeks. These plots are especially important because they don't focus on products. They focus on the how and the why of what we do. A lot of plans go into the pre-season part and the pre-planning part of what we do, but how do we adapt to the hand that Mother Nature gives us? How do we adapt to the weather challenges, the climate challenges, and all of those other things? And why are we deciding on those decisions that we decide on? Those sort of learning events are incredibly important to stay connected to what's new in farming and what those impacts could be and how you need to invest your limited resources in years to come. As I said, it's important to find the right balance of those things for you and set a rule and then stick to it. Any one of those type of events can fill up your calendar and eat up a lot of time. So maintaining balance, just like with so many things in life is important. I might be a little biased, but I think the innovation series from Central Valley Ag is an incredibly important part of the learning and an incredibly important part of your calendar year, plot decision and plot processes for your operation.